today I'm going to share with you guys my healthy hair routine. I am 44 and my hair got super damaged when I was coloring it lighter and red and this and that. So I'm going to show you guys my current routine right now. I do have in my favorite extensions. I will show you guys how I put those in. Those are also on sale right now. If you want to check them out, I will have everything in the description box below. So, okay. I just got out of the shower and this is what I use to wash and shampoo, wash and shampoo, shampoo and condition my hair. That has been like my favorite shampoo and conditioner right now. And then I also go in with this Eva NYC hair mask. This one's really, really good too. I don't use this every single time, but sometimes I'll condition and use that. So now I'm, I've let my hair dry a little bit in the towel, maybe for about 10 minutes. And I'm going to take the towel out and we will get started with some product. You guys are probably going to laugh, but my current favorite leave-in conditioner is from Trader Joe's. Yep, that's right. I found this at Trader Joe's. It smells so good. It works so well. I just put a couple pumps in my hand and I do one side of my hair and then I go in and do the same thing with the other side. You want to make sure that you are getting every strand covered uh, with the leave-in. And then after I apply the next product, we will brush it through um, and make sure that everything is completely covered. Now I did let my hair dry for about 10 minutes in between and you'll notice I'm doing makeup as well. I might look different in every shot. Um, so this up next is the John Frieda. This stuff just, oh, it just makes my hair feel and look so shiny and it just feels smooth and it keeps the frizzies away. And I just, I recently found this one and I really am enjoying it. So I'm just spraying this all over my hair and then I will brush it all through in a little bit. I am using my wet dry brush and I'm being very careful. I'm starting at the ends and then working my way up to the top. And I just want to brush it all through and make sure the product is on every strand of hair so that I can get all the benefits. Now I'm going in, this is one of my T3 products. I am obsessed with these products. I have pretty much all of them. This is my round brush, but I took the brush part off and I'm just using the hair dryer. And I just want to get like most of the really wet parts a little bit drier. And then I'm going to run through with the round brush, but you don't want to do it when your hair is too, too wet. So you definitely want to use a hair dryer, um, or just let it air dry until it's pretty close to being dry and then go in with the round brush. That was the mistake I was making in the past. I was using the Conair brush and I feel like that thing damaged my hair so much. And I think I used it when my hair was too wet. So you definitely want to make sure that your hair is mostly dry. Now I'm going to attach the brush part of the hair dryer and I'm just going to section my hair off a little bit and start drying it in smaller sections. And there's really no method to it. I'm just going to kind of do the bottoms and then the mids and then the top. And I am obsessed with this product. This is from Bellamy. So the extensions I use are Bellamy and I got this from them as well. And it's actually supposed to be like a heat protectant for your extensions but I've been using it on my hair as well. It works so good. And it just like, you want to put it on your hair when it's still a little bit damp, but I spray a little of that on. And then I use my round brush and I feel like it just makes my hair look really shiny and just nice and sleek. And yeah, that's been one of my favorite products lately. So I'm just going to go through my whole head and get it pretty much to dry. And then I'll be back. All right, now that my hair is dry, we're going to apply my extensions. So what I start off by doing is pull most of my hair up and I actually put that little spot in a pony in the back. A lot of people like to braid it, but I just put it in a pony. I feel like it's easy. And then that is where I apply my first um, piece of extension. And then I'm just going to go through and apply the rest of them. The, this set of extensions came with five pieces. So it's got two of the three clips, a four clip and two, two clips. And at first I didn't think it would be enough, but it really, it really is. So these extensions are so good. If you guys need new ones, go check them out. They are having a huge black Friday sale right now. Um, 25% off with my code. And I believe on the 25th, you can get a free gift with purchase. So they never really run sales this big. So go check them out. They're so good and their products are really good too. So we are, we 
And then the last thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this eyeshadow because like I said, I'm in my 40s and I've got some grays. Uh, I'm in between my coloring, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this shadow and cover the grays that are just on top because this is how my hair is gonna be parted for the rest of the day. So I'm just gonna touch that up and then I will be good to go. And this is how I'm doing my current hair routine. This is kind of just on a day like that I wanna put in my extensions and that maybe I'm going somewhere or I'm filming or something like that. So I don't wear my extensions every single day, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And as always, I'll have all the products linked down below in the description box if you guys want to check them out. All right, we'll see you on my next video. Bye.